Hi, my name is Ranjit. I come from a city called Madurai in the south of India. The language we speak there is called Tamil. And one of the classic Tamil texts is called Tirukkural, which contains 1,330 couplets talking about virtue, wealth, and love. It was written by the author Tiruvalluva. And in this series, I would like to pick on the couplets which are related to public speaking, something that I'm passionate about, and give you my interpretation. Are you ready? If a man seeking to speak usefully also speaks sweetly, his sins will diminish and his virtue increase. I love the way Thiruvalluvar connects sins with sweetness of speech. Now let's assume every new human is going to come at sins. So your pile of sins are piling up all the time. And let's assume that you would like to say something useful. Now the way Thiruvalluvar puts this in is saying that if you're going to say something useful, you might as well say it in a sweet manner. Because if you do so, then your sins will diminish and your virtue increase. You know, a lot of people keep collecting sins and when they want their virtue to increase, they might just use money and throw it at some somebody or something, donate for a cause and just hope that their sins diminish and their virtue increases. But look at this. If you can use your sweetness of speech to reduce your sins and increase your virtue, why wouldn't you do that? Turuvalluvar, this is what he has to say. If you want to say something useful, you might as well make it sweet. It will reduce your sins and increase your virtue. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to click on the subscribe button. And for those who want to take their speech making to another level, have a look on my website on the Speaker Shine series in the link below. It talks about the four pillars of speech making, starting from impromptu speaking to prepared speeches to evaluation and moderation.